Hey, it's Bearwood here. That's my old fine multi-tool. I bought that in 2001. But what happened is I broke a window. Little little uh, little window I broke. <laughs> Had something on the ladder, and the ladder it popped down and hit it. So I've got the, the glass here. Got the right size. Went and had that cut. The frame is nice and nice and clean, clean enough to accept the glass. So so that's in there. Yeah, that'll go. That's just what we want. So one-handed now. What I'm gonna do? Another beautiful blue skies in England. This has been the nicest day, and we've had a run of days here that that's sunshine's just been tremendous. But anyway. Using glazer's putty now, this Unibond seems to work pretty good. I'm going to put a thin bead on on that edge there, on the inside, just a thin bead so it's something to seal on. And then I'll use, here's the, the trick, if you get these little window things, I don't know what they call them, there's like a special window, and it goes in there and holds the window in place, you know, you push it in with a screwdriver or your fingers, that's the trick though, otherwise you got to lose a nail or some bullshit like that. So. Now, just a quick word or two about sealants. Now, I used to use this polyfill on just about everything outside, except for really, really, really tough situations. But I decided I wanted to go more toward the frame sealant on some of this stuff. So I'm using frame sealant. If the polyfill is good. You could use either one of these in place of the caulking over here. You could use any one of those three, or you could use whatever else you got that you want to try. It's the main thing is um, just get something on there. But I like this glazer's putty; it gets the job done. Um, and then, oh, quickly, the um, the fine. I had this reground. This was a worn-out blade, and they they take it and stamp it, cut that new blade, and they're half price. It was five pounds, and that's the kind of thing you use to cut that that. That uh, the old putty out because I used a wood I had a fine wood saw blade on there and it wasn't doing anything I put this thing on there and uh, it really works so you maybe ask your tool man if they do this with the sharpening guys if they'll re redo these bits for you so you know for five quid you can abuse it and it worked worked like a champ so I think that's that's gonna be it a little bit of sunshine on some bricks to say goodbye boys.